Hey everyone, this is uh, Mark Keith, Dr. Keith. I'm the author of this book. I've been working on this for a few years now for my own students. I've taught at a few universities. I uh, did my PhD at Arizona State, had a great experience there. It was in information systems and uh, business administration there in that program. Taught there for a bit. Uh, taught at a, a school in Texas for a couple years, West Texas A&M. Went to the University of Alabama, had a great experience there. Uh, currently at Brigham Young University, and I've also done some uh, guest teaching, graduate teaching up at the University of Washington in Tacoma, and I've had a variety of good experiences teaching students from all over, and uh, it's been interesting and useful uh, to teach students from a variety of backgrounds, some uh, primarily in the business school, like from where I've uh, always been in my career, but also many others. I've had so many uh, students from other uh, disciplines uh, coming in to my classes wanting to, to learn these things and I've and I really haven't found a discipline yet that can't benefit from learning about data science analytics machine learning it it really applies everywhere and, and I've uh, appreciated their input and tried to include it as I've crafted this book for my own students so uh, let me walk you through what you're going to find in this forward here there's a great video this is uh, Dr. DJ Patil who came and uh, provided a forum uh, address for uh, my current university and talked about his experience as the first chief uh, data scientist for the U.S. under the Obama administration. And uh, that position um, continues now. Uh, this address, if you weren't completely excited to learn data science before, I guarantee you will be after hearing what he has to say. A uh, very smart person and a good person. Uh, you can tell from what he talks about. Uh, and give some great ideas on some ways to use uh, the power of data. So really, what are companies, what does the world need, and what are companies looking for from students? So there, in, uh, th there are a few disciplines that come into play. Uh, in the past, uh, data analytics or data science, which is a relatively new term anyway, primarily came from mathematics, statistics and a little bit some from computer science however companies are finding more and more that what they need are students who have some sort of subject matter expertise and this is where the different disciplines come in i'm in the business school and obviously it's very relevant there but by no means is that the only place i've worked with the geology department at a university to develop or help them put together a, a geo geology data science program i've uh, worked with agriculture, uh, a, a great um, faculty in California who is working on uh, predicting pistachio crop yields. Uh, we developed a machine learning model to beat current industry uh, standards and improve the efficiency of the farming there. I've worked with uh, people to measure uh, health, heart rate, uh, skin conductance, and a variety of other factors to predict uh, when someone is about to make a bad decision based on information or data coming from their smartwatch. There are so many different contexts for data science and companies are finding that what we really need are students who have some subject matter expertise in a discipline. They can learn uh, a lot of the data science there at the companies, but um, they, they need that subject matter expertise. So if they don't have that, then that's kind of the discipline of, uh, and this is a common Venn diagram from a lot of places, but uh, it's grown over time in the data science community. But machine learning is this combination of computer science and mathematics. That's great. That's very useful. But without the subject matter expertise, people can, data scientists can get it wrong. They can pick the wrong variables or they won't know what variables they should be looking for to, uh, to build better predictions. Uh, if they don't have the mathematics and the statistics, if they just have a computer science background and subject matter expertise, well, that's kind of the discipline of software engineering, bring up building applications for to solve specific problems, but without the predictive component, without the statistics. If you have subject matter expertise and the statistics background, but no computer science, well, that's great for doing research, but you can't build that or deploy that research into a machine learning model or pipeline or environment unless you have the computer science background. So what we're finding are the best professionals and students are those that can integrate expertise from all three of these. And they call those the, the data science unicorns. There's uh, meaning that they're so rare to find 
those who have all these skills, but if they have them, they're incredibly valuable. So that's my encouragement as you take this class, uh, makes it, or use this book. It's a great book to use if you are uh, coming from another discipline other than computer science and mathematics and you want to learn. Uh, this, this would particularly help you with the statistics part and the machine learning part, but this particular version of the book does not get into the programming part. Uh, if you're looking for that, there are other versions of this book. Um, uh, Intro to Python Data Analytics is very similar to this, but it, uh, rather than use the click and drag tools in here, like Azure Machine Learning Studio and Tableau, you'll learn how to use Python to do everything that we do in this book uh, from scratch. That's a better version for someone who really uh, wants to play an active role as a data science in their uh, data scientist in their discipline. Um, if you uh, are looking for, uh, in this particular book, we have a background in relational databases and the SQL query language, specifically focusing on how to write code, write uh, queries to pull data out of a database. If you already have that background and you're looking for more of a, uh, more emphasis on how to deploy a machine learning model, if you're not afraid of a little bit of coding, then a different version of this book, uh, this one right here, Data Analytics and Machine Learning, uh, that may be a better version of the book for you. Uh, if you have a background in Python already and you want to, you've done some basic uh, statistical tasks and you understand maybe some basic modeling but want to go a bit more advanced and learn how to deploy machine learning models uh, in Python, then you may want the version of the book down here, Machine Learning in Python and Azure. So this is a kind of a, a follow-up book to the intro to Python data analytics book that takes it a bit further and integrates both code and uh, uh, cloud uh, um, machine learning. So anyway, this is uh, what to expect in this book um, and hope you uh, find it useful.